Kasamnida. We're back in Korea. I'm from a beautiful city in the north of England called Leeds, which is close to the historic city of York. And in 1664, when New Amsterdam was captured by the English, the city's name was changed to New York City in honour of the Duke of York who organised the mission. And there it is, New York City. Today we're going to be exploring one of the boroughs, Queens, with a local lad called Filitano. He's a subscriber, he saw we're on a road trip from South Carolina here up to New York City and he's offered to take me and my friend Connor around Queens and shows the culture, the people, the food and learn a bit of history. So we're in for a good day. Very, very excited. I'm just up here on the roof looking out for his black Subaru and I think I see him there. There's my boy, Filitano, word up. I think that's him. Yeah, that's definitely him. Right, let's go down and meet Filitano. Hell yeah, boy! <laughs> oh my god, my hands feel like they're gonna fall off, it's so cold. Don't call cops. What's well, good, how you doing? Hi, right, man. It's a Mike, pleasure well, to meet you. My name's Mike. Mike? Yeah, it's a pleasure. Yeah, Filitano is like Filipino Italian. Shit. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. Cool, cool. I was calling you Filitano in the intro. No, no, yeah. No. Mike. Yeah, you can use Filitano. Yeah, yeah. Pleasure to meet you, man. You Thank too, you for man. picking us up. And no, thanks no, for no, having excited for today. That's the hood right there. Like, oh, that is? Oh, the Brooklyn yeah. hood. Yes. Any buildings like that in New York are projects, like housing projects. I know you got uh -huh. them in England, but yeah, they yeah. look a little different. Like I think the they're estates. lower and shit. Yeah, they're a lot lower. Like where I'm from in New York is more like that's the hood. And like we're really we're not buying drugs, we're not gonna yeah. be welcome in that shit, you know okay. what I mean? Okay. You know? Well, I should have got my car wash, man. <laughs> that's alright. You got a nice car. Not just a thing. What do you do for a living? Right now I'm working in a hospital. I worked for the city of New York for like six years. I kind of leveled out, got sick of the shit, so I left. Side hustle, did a bunch of different things, and my wife said, give me a fucking job, man. You know, so right now I'm working in the hospital in Long Island. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So what's your wife do? She's involved with her family, like Koreans in America. They all yeah. own businesses, so her mother owns um, high-end day spas. They get mad when I say nail salon, but yeah. it's like a day spa. So it's like fancy shit, like famous people goes there, like the right like, Oh, really? Like, like famous and shit. My mom won't own several of them things in Manhattan, but um, she's going into a semi retirement. So this is all hood right here, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like this right here. You can is, tell it looks different to like, but, the other end's really yeah. hipsterish. Yeah. So what's happening here is gentrification. So you see the guys, those are like, like I can fucking tell who's indigenous and who's not. You know what I mean? So those guys right there, they from here. Mm. So there's some, slight resentment toward you know gentrification in the areas because it drives up the prices mm. and like people say oh it's economically good for New York and shit you know which may be true but I feel like it ruins the ethnicities of the neighborhoods because you want to come to certain parts of Brooklyn and get West Indian food not good uh, cupcake lollipops or yeah. uh, organic shade grown coffee from Kenya like you know what yeah. I mean you know there's a culture in New York and every Every borough is different, but even within the borough, the borough is all divided up by different, you know, ethnicities and mm -hmm. cultures and stuff, you know. Go past this light. Cross me, fuck. Let's see your best British when I was watching, you know what it was? When I was in Korea for, in 2015 for like 31 days, and my wife hadn't been back since she was 18. So I did all the things there, like non-touristy. Like yeah. We all went, like seven of us. I went... We dropped our bags in Seoul and then took off. We had like a Airbnb. We went straight to my wife was born in my sons. So we we went to my sons. In the south? Yeah. And, um, cool. And then we went to, um, what do we call it? Um, Jeju. Yeah, yeah, Jeju's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. I saw your videos. I was about to move from Right Dan. Down to Manhattan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saying, not a lot of people know that on my new channel. I know where it's Dan. Everyone's, yeah, where it's Dan. But I'm, I'm not a tech savvy guy. I'm not like posting pictures. Like, yeah. I don't know really, that's, you know, I'm like the generation ahead of you, so I'm more reserved with that stuff. Do you speak any Korean? Yeah, Jokum. Jokuman? Yeah, Jokuman. Nice. That's what I wanted to do, like take you through the different things and then end in like um, a very authentic, because Flushing Queens is really very authentic Asian. It's yep. like, 
it's like 50% Asian that you know what I mean? But one side is a lot of Chinese and then another side is a lot of Korean. So I reside in a Korean place right now. So like, like this, all this here, this is hood, man. Like, mm. This is not like, this is not. So there's no hipsters living here? They might be like here. Oh, the hipsters yeah, are here like, and these yeah. are the projects, yeah. yeah. Projects in New York, usually they don't have balconies. Mm. Usually. This is Williamsburg projects. Good friend I used to come here in the 90s. I actually came here the day Biggie Smalls died. So Biggie Smalls is from Brooklyn? He's from Brooklyn, yeah. But this is Williamsburg Project. So this project is like block, they call it like block one, block two. Mm -hmm. there, there's a lot of Puerto Ricans in here. Like my good friend mm. is from out here. Like I used to come here in the 90s. So but, it wouldn't so, be safe to just be walking through the middle of there? Maybe in the for, daytime? For me, yeah, I would. The weather's to your advantage right now, but I wouldn't, like... Because if you're not going there buying something, it's going to be more like, yo, what are you doing here? You're a cop or whatever, mm, you know what undercover. I mean? Undercover. This is Williamsburg, for myself. This is, like... This area of Williamsburg is, like... Before it was gentrified, this was, like, the hood. Like, you know what I mean? You didn't have stuff like this in the 90s. I would get off the train on Grand and call my boy for an escort like yo in half I'm a mile train. turn right you know onto Nicker I mean? Avenue you would, like you would not see this in the 90s like these these are hipsters yeah, yeah. like that guy's a hipster like I could, I could identify right now how about we run him over with the car <laughs> nah I can't <laughs> my license bro. New York City has so many cameras now everywhere yeah yeah but no, I wish there is a place for that and I just wish it was contained mm. it's spread all over New York City wherever there's a train route so even to the point where they rename neighborhoods you know what I mean? And that's not right. Like they took down a Puerto Rican sign in Williamsburg and that was like a Puerto Rican thing. And then the community was an uproar and they, they put back the sign, like, you know what I mean? So I think gentrification, and, and there's a difference in hipsters. They were the true original artist hipsters that, that lived in their workspace and did, you know, photography, painting, whatever they did and lived in their art space. And, but then what happened was as those areas became popular, like Soho, Manhattan, and Lower East Side, the East Village, those things became commercialized, and then you had the trust fund hipsters, the trust mm -hmm. fund babies. So they act like, oh, they dress all stupid, but they're living in like million dollar apartments, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I get that. I don't know no British people, man. I don't know, like, the least amount of uh, country people I ever met, I hardly meet. Australian, New Zealand, and British. I just, mm. they're not, I don't see it. And then, for some reason, Japanese. I think they're all in Manhattan, but. The lad we're picking up's Irish. Like from there, from Ireland? Yeah, yeah. And he's on a working holiday here. I think he works in a bar in Hoboken. All right, yeah. I think he's Jersey. a bit of a hipster. Yeah, yeah. If it's yeah. too much of a hipster, we'll kick him out the car. No, no, I don't, I don't, I don't hate hipsters. I just hate, like, um. Gen what they're doing, like, gentrifying the area. Yeah, and then they move here in five years, and they're like, oh. This is awesome, like, yo, you, you didn't spend a significant amount of time in your life to be a real New Yorker, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's like... I'm a fan laddie, boy! <laughs> Woohoo! Mm -hmm. So if you saw the cycling videos, Connor cycled with us to, to Busan. Busan. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, oh, that's nuts. You're a bit of a fan, Mike, are you? Not a fan, it's just, you know what it was? I was looking at a lot of videos in Korea, but yeah. I wanted to see regular lifestyle thing. Yeah, like, yeah. not like, oh, I went Coffee to this shops. mall. Yeah, I was no, sick of that. Yeah. Because I kept entertaining the thought to go over there for a while. Yeah, yeah. But um, it's just not the right time right now. But yeah, you're gonna go so I, I discovered yeah. your thing. And I'm like, yo, this guy's coach is doing like crazy stuff. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And um, well, the it was the opposite of what was going on. You know yeah. what I mean? So it became a thing when you would drop videos I would watch it with my wife. That was like our routine. I appreciate that. Thank you man. Right, let's the three of us, let's do a bro pose here. <laughs> bro pose? The bro pose. Alright, so we gotta hang on. Hey, you, look like a fat Irish. <laughs> you gotta do this. I'll do this. And crouch down. Crouch like this. down. What, what are you, you you gotta get in the front somehow. You get around that side. Bro pose! So this connects Manhattan to Queens. Queens. Yeah. Wow, this is a cool bridge. And these are the housing projects. Yeah, this is Queens Bridge. So is this from uh, NASA's rap songs? Yes. And Mark, 
and Mob Deep yes, and, yeah. and Nas. Yeah. So this is the largest projects in America because it's 96 buildings and six blocks. Is it? Yeah. So a lot of those projects you see, housing projects in like the Bronx and Brooklyn, it's just multiple projects stacked on each other. So this is the most single biggest pro uh, housing projects in New York City. Or maybe the country, I think. Could we walk through there uh, in the daytime? I don't know, we'll drive through here. Like, okay. I, I don't, this um, surrounding areas become gentrified, so they're more mm. familiar with um, Caucasians walking through or like whatever, but if like, you know, you don't want to go, like, we'll drive through, we'll drive through the hill. So this is like a very famous area of um, Queensbridge, they call this the hill. Because I love listening to Mob Deep and Nas. Yeah. So to come to the place I've heard in the songs, yeah, this it's is pretty special. No, nah, yeah, this is this is everything I'm talking about. This is Queensbridge. And yeah, it's like you say, they don't have any uh, balconies like the other apartments do. Nah. The ones where we saw in Brooklyn. If you love hip hop like I do, let me know your top three favorite artists and also favorite albums to listen to. Illmatics. It's not in my top three, but it's up there with one of the greatest. I think there's a train going overhead now. So this here is the Triborough Bridge and it connects Queens, Manhattan and the Bronx. Yeah, it What's this bridge here on the right? That's the Hellgate Bridge. The Hellgate that's Bridge. Oh, that's where all the Spanish ships, ships, ships sunk. And this is the East River. And then over there on the right is the Bronx. That that's Randall's Island, but over those buildings is the Bronx. This is for cars, it's not a train. Yeah, that one's a train. Oh, so that's a train bridge. I thought the sound was from a train, but it's all the cars passing oh, overhead. Yeah. What a beautiful day. I appreciate this, mate, thank you. No, I don't know what you... It's like, cool. if you're bored or like, yo, bro, I don't want to see this. That's no, 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 I want to see everything. I just don't want to go to anywhere like yeah, Times yeah. Square or the Empire State Building to the top. I've got no interest in that. Yeah, I, I, I want to come here with locals. Come see this park, they can tell me what the bridges are called and then head into the neighborhoods and go to local food places. That's my kind of vibe. Were you in the city when the plane flew into the Twin Towers? I was actually in Delaware. I Where's was, Delaware? The state like near Maryland. Oh, like, south of here? Yeah, I was there. But my family was here. My, fa my father's brother was a lieutenant in the fire department, so he lost about 30 guys that day. And uh, my cousin, he was an officer, court officer. Yeah. Like the, the court system in New York State has their own like police. He was one of those guys, but in downtown Manhattan. So he saw the second plane hit. But I came that weekend back up to my roof. We'll try to get up there later. And you can still see the smoke. The smoke was still coming out. So where is that now in relation to here? It's on the yeah, Twin Towers oh, that way. Yeah. So now this is like, because you remember like those tall skinny buildings by Central Park. Yeah. Like Harlem over there. So. Yeah, so Harlem yeah. is up here, then it goes to the Bronx. Like, so the Bronx is back there. Like, that's probably the Bronx. Like. Yeah. And then over here? This this is Queens. That's probably the Bronx too, across that water. The Bronx, that's the Bronx. Yeah. Yeah. Bronx oh, so huge. all the, the Queens is massive as well. Queens, Queens is the huge. biggest borough. It's the biggest borough, okay. Yeah, it's the biggest borough. Are we close to the Korean part? Because there's some yeah. Asian stores so, down here. Down here used to be Korean. Yeah, I'm gonna pop out on Linda. Oh, look, there's a Jim Jill Bang. Yeah, this is old, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah this is so old. that sign there, if you see that in Korea, that means it's a sauna, Jim Jill Bang. You were staying with us? Oh, all the time, yeah. yeah a lot, yeah. And your first spike. Yeah. Oh, there you go, look. Spa sauna, fountain of youth. So what's this neighborhood called? This is still flushing. Yeah, flushing. So this is still flushing. Yeah. And we're gonna stay in flushing now, yeah. Predominantly all the people that live here are Koreans and Chinese. Yeah, and then Spanish There's and some Spanish speaking. Yeah. That's probably the top. Yeah. This looks like a nice place to live. Yeah, so like where you live, like right here, like a two bedroom might be like 2100 or 2000. Like 2000 if you're lucky, but like in, in but it'll be big fucking apartments. It's just the old shit, you know what I mean? But you're at the end of the 7 train, so you're not... So this is what I mean by the outer boroughs, like, all these people go to all this trendy shit, Astoria, you know, Williamsburg, Greenpoint, like, you do all this shit, but it's like... 
there's another life, bro. I saw mm. hipster, like, yeah. all gentrified stuff. But I know it's cool. It's trendy. If I was young, maybe I'd do that. I might love a story, but I feel sad when I'm in a story because that neighborhood changed. It ain't the neighborhood I grew up yeah, in. We yeah. used to crack 40s on people's heads, fights. People's cars would get stoned. It, it wasn't like a ghetto like the South Bronx, but it was more neighborhoodish. So as it got gentrified, that neighborhood feeling's gone. Like, everyone knew my mother or we would know each other's mothers and, like, you know. Yeah, yeah it, like... A cop would handcuff you to a banister and call your mother, like, yo, pick up your son, you know, before I rest him. Like, you know, it was literally like that. Now it's not. Mm. It's gone. You know what I mean? And it's like, yo, this area is called Murray Hill. Yep. Murray Hill is where my hat is, right? Yeah. Hot to Burp house. So here we go. Oh, look, Mapo. I used to live in Mapo. Mapo Goo. In Mapo Goo. Yeah, this place used to be good. Oh, this looks really good, man. I feel like I'm in Korea. We should go here, maybe. Check out these ones. The Galbi Incorporated. And choose one that you want. Thank you. 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 Makali ham milliran, mekju ham milliran, kas. Korean beer, Korean beer. Kera ham biom, soju ham biom, makali ham biom. Soju? Do you want to sit here? Respect that. Who is it? Here, sit here, and then we, you can be in the video with us. Cheers, lads. Cheers, boys. Sol shi wa soyo. Solshi was oil? Yes. We didn't solshi as well, salak oil. Sangsu dongirang? Hongde. 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 Anchovies, bean sprouts. What's this one? That, that's that root. Mm. root one. Root vegetable, broccoli. That's, that's a black thing that they put in that's there. That's the other root. It's, mm, like it's another root. The bibimbap one, but they yeah, yeah. different. They put that in the bibimbap roll. We got a little salad. This, this is the same. But this that's one, potato. Yeah, that one's kimchi. Oh, no, that's a root. Like, yeah. Yeah. So these are both root vegetables. That's some lettuce with some samchang. Hell yeah. And then we got some young summer radish. Mate, this is That's amazing. Mukimchi, 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 right? Is that mm -hmm. more? No, this is this is yol mu kimchi. Uh, we got some more. Wow. This is a lot of samgyeopsal. Oh yes. Look at, look at this. Fantastic. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Woo. Now we're swimming. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give this a try. Meo oil. Mmm. Mmm. Barbecue, Such good memories. Yeah. Uh, jump on the so this is typical Korean style. There's never enough space on the table because there's always so much food. The banchan takes up the whole table. Mm. That's his soup. I'm just gonna finish that. Kimchi dochu sayo. Wow. See ya. Oh, let's go. How about this one? Wow. Service, thank you. Oh, Kasamnida. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Go on, then, lad. Then my sister and cousin was coming. They're soon. coming as well? Females, yeah, they're coming. Oh, yes, we like females. Get some birds with us. <laughs> Cheers, lads. So, you know me, I never like to look at a map and see where I am, but Connor just showed us where we are. We're far away from Manhattan. Yeah. So, where did here. we start? Wait, so you picked me up here in Greenpoint. And yeah. now we're all the way out here. Bloody hell. I didn't ri realize we were coming here today, and I didn't realize how big Queens is. Queens is huge. All right, hang here, zoom in again. So, my Queens is like. Queens is like, so that's the cut off, see that river there, that's the yeah. cut off Queens and uh, Brooklyn, right? And that whole area like down here, and then all this area is all Queens, down to JFK, that's Queens. Wow. So it's like that whole area there is Queens. And then this is Brooklyn down here. It's 
massive. Yeah, it's huge. Right? So if you want to come and eat in these authentic Korean restaurants, we're near Murray Hill train station. In Flushing. In Flushing. Yeah, but there's more though, bro. There's just one section. But this is like the main area. You can see here, like there's already Korean. Right now. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. Yo, um, yeah, after this, we'll go around and have a look at some more. We'll walk around. What time we got to catch the train? I'm leaving in a few minutes. All right, so we'll walk around here, get my sister-in-law, and then she has an extra ticket. She told me to show you something, but I don't know what this shit is. That's not a thing. Brooklyn. Where is it? <laughs> Brooklyn. Right? Is that where I'm staying in Brooklyn? Yeah, you're in Bushwick, mate. It's pretty not too okay. Oh, she does shit around there. She's like a hipster, like. Okay, cool. <laughs> like me. <laughs> like you, mate. No, not like you. Kasamnida. Chanwa kasamnida. Nagaseyo. Bye bye. Masike duseyo. Anya. Woo, mate. <laughs> that was so good. I, I looked good in there, wet drunk. I just get, I just destroyed it. Basically, started screaming like, chatting to everybody. Yeah. Oh yeah, I need that. Thank you, mate. So, working in a bar, you get minimum wage, which is like two dollars fifty, but then they it make it up. Here, how much? I think it could be ten. Here, but how much do they pay you? I love that. I, I, I don't know bar. how much it is in Europe, but like it's fuck all compared to your tips. Like. So, they, but they pay you the bare minimum, but then you make it up in tips. So, how much in dollars do you expect to make tonight? Saturday. We're gonna make good money. Six, seven hundred, maybe? Seven hundred dollars. Last Saturday I made six, six Damn, fifty, bro. but it was it, but that, but, but, but that was like a really good night. So like definitely over five, anyway. That's insane. Let's go to a bar. Let's just chill for like, you're gonna get a ticket to a rave right now. Oh, hell yeah. Yo. So the race in Brooklyn. No, let's go here, man. This way. Wait, oh, he's gonna buy Too late. So powerful. Mom. What are you buying? What's Quick Pick? Just like the machine chooses your numbers. And oh, like a lucky, lucky dip for the lottery. How much is the lottery tonight? Tonight, seven hundred million. Seven hundred million. When I first arrived, it was at one billion. Can you open this for me, please, mate? Mm -hmm. Can you? Are you allowed to open this here? No, inside, no. Okay. In a bit, man. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Peace. Thank you, brother. My Italian boy. So you used to own this we business own, here. We owned this, but it was different. I paid for this. This was like six thousand. But like those fucking bushes, those racks, these fucking fences. Like this was my shit. What was it when it was your business? It was a coffee shop. It was a coffee shop where we had a wine and beer license. So up here was the bar, and down there was the coffee. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? This is my shit. But this is very I'll Korean. Smack like. as well. <laughs> This is very Korean to have everything separated off with your own little drinking area. These floors, I did this shit. That archway. Uh -huh. yes. How long did you have this open as a business for when you owned it? 2010 to 2013 ish, 2014 maybe. And why did you close it down? We, I didn't close it, we sold the lease because it was valuable while I, was, I had a 10 year yeah. lease. So we were like, we had like seven and a half years, eight years. So you like flipped it for a profit? Yeah, kind of. A little bit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> did you used to work in this? I yeah, did. Bar. I was a barista. Did you enjoy working here? I did. Was Mike a good yeah, boss? The, the, the yes. Coffee, the coffee <laughs> I think I, if I worked for Mike, I think I'd enjoy no, it as well. Coffee, the coffee charger, That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. Yeah. guys got characters. Yeah. <laughs> Mike and his wife. Mike and his wife, can't forget the wife. <laughs> Will I get arrested if I try enter a club with that. this? Yeah, yeah. Not arrested, but they won't let you in. I've just arrested. been given a present, some knuckle Dad, dusters. Don't get arrested. Don't that's, get arrested. So if I go to a club and someone that's, starts with that's me, my last <laughs> boof, <laughs> they get inside on, huh. But me, then, I, I don't know, father. who are you going to call know, after that? Ghostbusters. <laughs> Yo, that's so my hard. last best knuckles, bro. That's that's very Respect. special. Oh, Thank wow. you, mate. I'll punch yes. motherfuckers in their jaw with that shit. How many I, people I have you punched you, in the bro. face with this? <laughs> that's very special. I gotta go to, all the way to Delaware for that shit. If anyone starts on us tonight in the club, <laughs> huh. yeah. I'll send right behind yeah. you. No, no, I'll give this to you. No, no, what's gonna happen is you're gonna take it, you're gonna throw it at them, and I'm gonna run away. <laughs> Alright. They're not going to expect us in this place. Let me hang on. Let me just show you from outside where we're going. Said, there's no windows. There's a little sign that says "Ee Lang." Then I broke the ice. Hello. 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 Hello.
she, okay. So this is like a typical bar that's just full of Ajoshis, and the women that work at the bar serve them alcohol, get them drunk, and flirt with them. All right, so one shot is $10. The bottle is 80 is that right? She's, she's selling us a $22 bottle for 80 bucks. Yeah, so she's trying to pull our pants down and spank us for free. Yeah, that, that's what happens, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dance with me, come on now. Move that body here. Oh, me, uh, Hangu Nore Sayo. Murugaso. Uh, YouTube Ro Nore, yeah, Nore Irum Chaco Yadoyo. Chaco Yadoyo. Dance with me. Let go and party. Kasamnida. I just see Anul Bam Party Gachigayo. What did Brooklyn? She is so Party Gayo. Brooklyn, what did Where are we going? I don't know. Where is that? Where Where are you going? Bushwick? Oh, say yo. Ah, Williams Bogot. Ah, Williams Bogot. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. He likes yeah. it. He Does likes he want to come with us? He doesn't want what to. What time? Party Gachigayo. Now, right you now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can come in the car. Ne, oh, you're Britain? Yes. Oh, First okay. time in America. Manasa Banga Sumnida. I went I went London full time. Oh hell yeah. yeah. Cool. Oh yeah, yeah. where? Seoul Si. Seoul Si Odi. In Sang Sudong. Sang Sudong? Sang Su. Oh. Hongde Yope. Mapu Mapu go so. Oh Mapu. Right, I'm gonna go get in the car because it's freeze gold. Manasa Banga Sumnida. Oh my god, so he still lives in Korea. In in ne Namsan? Oh. Nice. Oh yeah. I want to. In Hawaii. So he went to Hawaii. Ooh. He said his wife likes it better here. Do you want to live in America or South Korea? I live over there. Thank you want yeah. to? I love that. You live in Korea. Yeah. Yeah. But your your wife wants to live here. Yeah. yeah. She, she still lives here. She That's loves probably here. why oh, he's okay. here. She wanna survive from my sister, <laughs> <laughs> my brothers. <laughs> oh, so your family lives here. No, over there. Oh. That's why she don't wanna. She don't wanna live over there. <laughs> have, right. have you heard of a divorce? <laughs> you only heard of You know, the divor divorce is uh, more expensive one of the famous thing <laughs> in the world. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> in the United States, more, mostly. Forty-five percent out 40, of hundred. I think, yeah. They divorce. Mm. Right. Wow. In Korea, forty percent out of hundred percent. Mm. That's too much. That's a lot. Too much. Yeah, yeah. No, that's it's way almost much. like you no, shouldn't I, get married. I like yeah. uh, people divorce eighty percent out of hundred. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> that's that's anti-marriage. <laughs> 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 Alright, let's go to the club. Before right. you leave this country, call me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. If I need like any advice on divorce, I'll give you a call. Oh my gosh. Manasa magasumnida, kasumnida. Right. It's so cold, man. All right, lads. I'm pissed as a fart here. Michael's showing up in the car. We come to some rave where there's free drinks between nine and ten, and I'm absolutely pissed on my head. So we're gonna continue partying here. And then tomorrow, we're going to make a pizza tour video around the city. And then we're going to do the Bronx and Harlem. So we're going to hopefully make four videos whilst I'm here. So if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel and definitely come to New York because this city, it's insane. It's amazing. You need to come to New York. If you never come to New York, Comes to New York. Guys, you ready to go?